Hey Travel Fit Tribe, it's your expert personal trainer and health functional diagnostic health coach, Jen here, talking to you this week about the millions, yes I said millions of toxins that you come encounter with daily. To be exact, 2,100,000 toxins that you have the potential to come into contact with daily. Isn't that absolutely crazy and absurd? I mean, you would never think that you're probably coming across that many toxins or you probably have just never thought about it at all, at all, but that is the case. There's toxins in our environment absolutely everywhere. Your computers and your cell phones that emit uh, electromagnetic frequencies and radio type of waves, that's considered a toxin or the chemicals that are found in your personal care products like your shampoos and your makeup and your lotion and your aftershave and your soap um, and also toxins can be found in your food in the terms of pesticides and insecticides and parasites and the things that they um, will process food with you guys. I you probably just recently saw my email and video where I was talking about how I poisoned myself with Splenda. Well, that's because Splenda was processed with chlorine, which is a toxin. Like these toxins literally are everywhere in our environment and it's so scary because research is showing that this accumulations of, of toxins in our environment and the accumulation of toxins in our body are being linked to things like obesity and diabetes and all kinds of cancers and endometriosis and um, autism and allergies and ADD and all these different types of illnesses and sicknesses that we didn't have hundreds of years ago or and, and then certainly didn't have thousands of years ago and because of how our society has evolved unfortunately these things are starting to come into play when it, it comes to our health so what i want to talk to you guys about today was the controllable versus the uncontrollable toxins so obviously you need a cell phone and a computer to work every day you may not be able to control the toxins in your in your work environment in the building that you work in um, or even in the air that you're breathing because you can't not breathe. You have to go outside and breathe that air. But where's the opportunity to control the toxins that you do come encounter with? And how can you reduce your toxic exposure? And that means, and then what can you do to offset some of the damage from the uncontrollable toxic factors that are in your daily life? So I'm here to give you basically three of the simplest and most effective ways that you can reduce your toxin exposure. And then we're gonna talk about how you can offset some of the damage from toxic exposure from the things that you can't control. So the very first most simplest thing that you can do is be looking at the food that you're putting in your body. Um, be shopping for 100% organic foods as much as possible or all the time if you can. Looking for that little green seal, the USDA um, certified organic seal on all of your food items, whether they're uh, fresh or in a package, particularly in a package. You can shop at the farmer's market for these things or your local grocery stores and health food stores all are carrying organic items now, so that shouldn't be a problem. Also, the second way is looking at your water intake. And um, one of the things that I still hear people doing is that they're drinking tap water. Um, and tap water is also filtered with different types of chemicals in order to clean it. But then those chemicals will get into the water supply and you're actually drinking it. And things like fluoride, well, yeah, we do use fluoride at the dentist to maybe clean our teeth, but when you have long-term exposure to fluoride in your tap or drinking water, that can cause a toxic buildup. So the second way is to make sure that you're drinking filtered or spring water all the time. So you can get filters for your home, you can purchase spring water, you can have it delivered to your house, um, or you can get bottled spring water, essentially. And then the third way is to reduce your toxic exposure is to make sure that you're purchasing and using biodegradable products in your house. So this is your cleaning supplies, your makeup, your personal care products like lotions and shampoos and all that kind of stuff. Anything that's more environmentally friendly. So I have some of my favorite products here. This is um, this probably looks backwards to you guys, but this is Method. You can get this at Target, Amazon, all different kinds of places. Method is a more biodegradable, um, environmentally friendly product. 
And then this is my laundry detergent from Sprouts. And this says no phosphates, no chlorine, no dyes, and it's a plant-based formula. So this is actually on sale. Like this is the kind of stuff that you want to be looking for. And seventh generation is another one of my favorites that you can find. I think I've even seen it at Costco, but at Target, um, most of the grocery stores, Vons and things like that will have seventh generation. And then my favorite um, makeup is Afterglow. So even my lipstick is um, organic and more biodegradable and environmentally friendly because if you think about it, you're putting your lipstick or chapstick or whatever on your mouth, that's a direct source to be ingested into your body. So those are the three simplest ways that you guys can look at controlling um, the controllable environmental toxins that you have in your environment, in your household. And then let's talk about what you can do to offset the things that you can't control. So you guys have been hearing me over the last couple of weeks talk about cleansing your body, using foods to do that. And that is the one and only way to do it. I mean, we can't, like I said, control all of the toxins that we come encounter with. So what are the things that we can do for ourselves to offset the damage? And that's by doing regular cleansing of our body. So this is exactly why um, I'm having or holding this upcoming seasonal cleanse challenge that I only do twice a year. So you guys don't want to miss it. This is a great opportunity to learn how to cleanse your body all the time naturally using foods and simple at home techniques. And today is actually the last and final day for you guys to sign up. It's March 17th. Um, you can sign up by the end of tonight at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, but it's the absolute last day because the challenge is going to kick off next week on March 24th, and everybody who's participating is getting a little Kickstarter gift bag with samples and products that you're going to be using during the cleanse, so I need a week to get that stuff out to you guys. Um, so through this cleanse, we're going to be using foods like beets and grapefruit and lemons and dandelion greens to help promote your, bottle, your body's natural cleansing ability. And we're also going to be focusing on minimizing the foods that are most toxic or inflammatory for your system. We're going to be looking at um, growing some accountability around making sure that you're exercising regularly, drinking plenty of water, getting to sleep on a regular basis, because those are all of the ways that you can offset the damage of environmental toxins that you don't have control of. So I really wanna strongly encourage you guys, if you have any questions about the Cleanse Challenge, if you think you wanna do it but you're not sure, please email me at mytravelfit at gmail.com or you can re reply back to the email that you got this video from. And if you guys are ready up for the challenge, you're ready to take this on, you're ready to cleanse out those built up toxins from your body, then I encourage you to go right now to mytravelfit.com backslash cleanse dash challenge. Again, that's mytravelfit.com backslash cleanse dash challenge. Today's absolutely the last day that you can sign up so that we can go through this process together. You can be in a group of health minded people who are also looking to cleanse their body of these um, destructive toxins that we come encounter with on a regular basis to promote energy and weight loss and overall health. So hope to see you guys in the cleanse challenge. If not, then I will see you next week on next week's video. Have a good one.